Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to run a moderation analysis with the process macro in SPSS with a multi-category call moderator. Before watching this video, I highly recommend watching my other video on moderation analysis. In that video, I talked about uh, moderation analysis, the basics, what it means, how to run it, how to interpret it, how to report it, and how to visualize it. And I used a continuous moderator. Also, I have another video related to today's tutorial, and that is uh, on moderation with a binary moderator. A binary moderator is a category called variable, which only has two categories. And today I'm going to talk about multi-category called variables. They have more than two categories. Also, in that video, I showed how to enhance the interaction plot and how to export it from SPSS. Multi-categorical variables are variables that have more than two categories. And we have two types of multi-categorical variables, nominal variables. These variables have more than two categories and these categories are not ordered. For example, hair color, blood type, and gender. Another type is ordinal variables, uh, or I prefer the word ordered categorical variables. And these uh, variables are categorical. They have more than two categories and the categories are ordered. For example, uh, look at this example, educational level. So we have these categories and they are ordered. High school, bachelor's degree, master's degree, and PhD, or customer satisfaction rating, satisfied, neutral, and dissatisfied. Uh, as you can see, there is uh, an order for these categories. Now, today we are, we are going to have a multi-category called moderator in our moderation analysis. In SPSS, I'm using the data set uh, D2, and this is the multi-category called variable that we are going to focus on today, socioeconomic status, SES. It has three categories, one, two, three low SES, middle SES, and high SES. Uh, so you can see one, two, three, the lowest number is one, which represents low SES. Now this is a multi-categorical variable because it has three levels. It's ordered multi-categorical variable, but the logic is the same for uh, nominal, uh, non-ordered multi-categorical variables. Before running the moderation analysis, I prefer to visualize uh, the interaction that is very helpful. For that, click on graphs and chart builder. Now we want a scatter plot. So drop this here. Uh, let's choose happiness as our Y variable outcome and extraversion as our X variable predictor. So we wanna look at the relationship between extraversion and happiness. For the categories of our multi-categorical variable, I just need to drop SES uh, on this box here, set color. That's it, click okay. And then you get this plot, double click on it and click on this button, add fit line, at subgroups. Okay, let me close this extra window. This is the plot that uh, we need to understand our uh, interactions. So we have three lines here. Each line is the relationship between extraversion and happiness in one of the groups. Because we have three groups, we have three lines. The blue line, this line, is the relationship between extraversion and happiness in low SES group. The red line, this line, is the relationship between extraversion and happiness in the middle, middle SES group. And the green line is the relationship between extraversion and happiness in the high SES group. By just looking at this plot, I see that the relationship between extraversion and happiness is uh, quite similar for high and low SES groups, but it's different, it's weaker in the middle SES group. This may indicate some sort of moderation here, some sort of interaction, but we, we are going to test it statistically with a moderation analysis. Before 
uh, moving to the moderation analysis, let's also talk about something else. How about choosing one of these categories as our baseline category? And uh, a very common option is the first category. One, two, three. So one is the first one, low SES, the blue line. Uh, let's choose it as our baseline group. And in our moderation analysis, we are going to compare the middle SES group to our baseline, to low SES group. And the high SES group to, again, to our baseline, low SES group. So we choose the low SES group as our baseline because it's the first one. And then we are going to compare the other two groups with uh, this group. Simply put, this means that I want to see that if the relationship in, in the high SES group, the strengths of the relationship between extroversion and happiness, is it different from that in the low SES group? By just looking at this plot, I don't see a big difference. So it seems that these two are very similar to each other. But comparing the low SES group and the middle SES group, I see an obvious difference. And it seems to me that the relationship between extroversion and ha happiness is substantially weaker in the second group compared to the first group, our baseline group. All right, so we see there might be some statistically significant interactions here, and we are going to test it. So let me close this window, click on Analyze, Regression, and the Process Macro. Y variable, our outcome, is happiness. X variable, our predictor, our independent variable, is extroversion. And SES is our moderator variable. Click on long variable names and let's accept the risk of having long variable names. And then click on options. We want to visualize our results. So I take this one here. Three decimal places are enough. And also I want to center extroversion. Now we don't need to center SES because it's a categorical variable and doesn't have a mean. We just uh, center our continuous predictor, which is extroversion. Under probe interactions, choose always. And you don't need to do anything else here. Click on continue. So if your categorical variable is binary, you don't need to do anything else. You just can click on OK. But if your moderator variable is a multi-categorical variable, you need to tell the macro. So click on multi-categorical, moderator variable W. So here, I'm going to tell the macro that my W variable, which is the moderator variable, is multi-categorical. That's it, continue. And now I can hit OK. OK, we tested model one, a moderation, simple moderation model. Our Y variable outcome is happiness. Our X variable predictor is extroversion. And our moderator is SES. You remember that we had the one baseline group, and that was our first group. What has happened behind the scenes, what has uh, the ma macro done, is to create two variables called W1 and W2. When you have a multi-categorical variable, the macro creates new variables. How many new variables? It, it depends on how many groups you have. If you have three groups, it makes two new variables. If you have four groups, it makes three new variables. So the first group is the reference group and doesn't need an extra variable. Here, let's see what we have. We have a new variable called W1. And in this variable, people who belong to group two, middle SES, they get one and everyone else gets zero. So it's a dummy variable. Basically, what is happening here is a dummy coding of your variable SES. And then you have W2. Everyone who belongs to the third group gets one and everyone else zero. First group doesn't need an extra dummy variable. The second group, we need a dummy variable. And third group, we need a dummy variable. And basically, we are going to compare group two with group one and group three with group one. Our baseline group is group one. This is what is happening here. The R square and F value and two degrees of freedom and P value, which is significant. 
Now, if you look at your regression coefficients, you see that you have extra version and two variables, W1, W2. And you have two interaction terms, right? Interaction one, interaction two. If you have watched the previous videos, you know that we are very curious about these two interaction terms and the p-values. But what is interaction one and interaction two? If you look at this part of the output, product terms key, interaction one is the interaction between extroversion and W1. W1 is uh, the indicator of the second group. Interaction two is that between extroversion and W2, which is the indicator of the third group. So let's see if our two interaction terms are significant or not. Interaction two, so this is the p-value, is not significant. So we don't have a moderation for this variable here, w2, the indicator of the last group. Interaction one is significant. So we have one significant interaction and one not significant interaction. But what does it mean? Interaction one is, uh, if you look here, is for group two. When you see a significant level, a p-value for interaction one, this means that the relationship between extroversion and happiness is different between group one and group two. What about interaction two? It's not significant. Interaction two is between extroversion and W2, so the indicator of the last group. A non-significant interaction means that the relationship between extroversion and happiness is not different between the third group and the baseline group, which is the first group. So first group and third group, the relationship between extroversion and happiness is not different. But second group and first group is different. Now let's look at conditional effects. You see all the three levels here and the unstandardized coefficient here. Now this effect is the relationship between extroversion and happiness in three groups. The first group, second group, and third group. You see the relationship is stronger in the first group and also in the third group is stronger relative to the second group. Interaction two is not significant. This means that these two values are not significantly different. So group one and group three, uh, in these two groups, the relationship between extroversion and happiness is not st statistically different from each other. The strengths of the relationship is almost the same or the same. But if you look at group two, you see that the relationship between extroversion and happiness is weaker. And this significant interaction term here this means that this effect found in group two is significantly weaker than the effect found in group one. And next step, which is a very crucial step for understanding moderation is visualization. Copy this part from data to the full stop here. Click on file, new, and syntax, paste it here and run all of it. Double click on your plot, choose variable and fit line. Apply. It's very similar to the plot that we created before doing the moderation analysis. You see group two is weaker the relationship between extroversion and happiness is weaker in group two relative to group one and three. Now group one, the blue line is the baseline and group three, the green line, uh, they are very similar to each other. And we found that in these two groups, the relationship between extroversion and happiness are very similar to each other are not significantly different from each other. But we found that group two, and group one are different. The relationship between extroversion and happiness is weaker in group two compared to group one. 